Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 12-50 and this problem is taken from chapter number 12, Deflection of Beam and Shaft. And book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the beam is subjected to load shown, determine the equation of slope and equation of elastic curve EI is constant. So you can see this is overhanging beam and at point A we have a pin support and at point B we have a roller support. From A to B we have a uniformly distributed load of 3 kN per meter and at and C we have a moment that is clockwise and 50 kN into meter. So we have to find the equation of slope and elastic curve and we will solve this by using Macaulay's method. So let's start with the solution. So first step is if we draw the free body diagram so we have to remove this support at point A. So if you remove it you will be having a reaction force let this is RA and if you remove this support at point B roller support at point B so you will be having a reaction force which will be equal to RB. So you can take it as per your convenience the direction of this force and from the value you will obtain you will guess whether you have taken the corrected direction or not. So let's find the moment uh, this RB by using in equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about point A is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A first moment will be this R B into perpendicular distance is 5 and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive so I will write R B into 5 the second moment is this external moment that is clockwise then 15 kilo Newton into meter and the third moment is this uniformly distributed load due to this load and when we convert this load into a point load so it will be 3 into the length over which it act and at that will be acting at half of the length which is 5 divided by 2 and this is 2.5 and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so I will convert this uniformly distributed load into point load so 3 into 5 is equal to 15 kilo Newton and that is acting at half which is 2.5 meter so I will write minus 15 into 2.5 is equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get this RB comes out to be 10.5 kilo Newton now you have this RB, you can find this RA by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So RA which is acting upwards, so it will be positive minus this 15 kilo Newton that will be downward plus RB which is 10.5 is equal to zero. So from here you will get RA will be equal to 4.5 kilo Newton now you have both RA and RB so we will find the equation of uh, slope and deflection by using this equation and the equation is EI into d square V over dx square is equal to moment so by moment can be obtained by using Macaulay's method And for this method, we will use the table given in the chapter number 12 of the book, Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So this is the table and from this table, you can see that you have the case of point loads, you have distributed load and point loads, etc. So we'll start from left hand side and we'll move toward right hand side and at right hand side, you will ignore the load. So if I draw, if I look into the table, so there is a point load, the moment function will be this one and you can see there is a distributed load in three, serial number three. So this distributed load start from any point but it ends up till the last. In our case, our distributed load start from point A till B. So we have to make it till the end. So what we will do is that we are going to add 
the uniformly distributed load from B to C as well clear and then we will subtract it downward by giving the upward direction so let me draw the free body diagram so this is the beam okay you have a load RA which is upward and RA is 4.5 kilonewton and at point B you have a load of 10.5 kilonewton clear and from A to B this is point A this is your point B so from A to B there was a uniformly distributed load like this and the, it was downward the magnitude is 3 kilonewton per meter so what we will do is that this is point C and at point C we have 15 kilonewton into meter moment so what we will do is that we will add the same 3 kilonewton per meter force over here and from B to C in the bottom we will subtract it so that it should cancel the effect and this should be in opposite direction so this is 3 kilonewton per meter now we will find this moment equation so this moment equation for first this point load so this point load is upward and here the load is also upward so we'll use this case and the moment function will be equal to 4.5 into x minus a is equal to 0 in this condition so this will be equal to x minus 0 power 1 the second load is this uniformly distributed load and this start from a till C and this is kilonewton, 3 kilonewton per meter, meter. So its function will be this one. And the load you can see this is downward and here the distributed load is upward. So moment is positive. So here we will take the negative because it is downward. So W0 which is 3 kilonewton per meter. So 3 over 2 into X minus A is equal to 0 because this load start from end A. So X minus 0 power 2. The third load is this point load and this is upward clear so 10.5 and this distance is 5 meter you can see over here so I will write plus 10.5 into x minus 5 power 1 and the last load is from B to C is uniformly distributed load now this load is upward and so it will be positive so I will use this equation so plus w naught is 3 over 2 into x minus a so this distance is 5 meter so x minus 5 power x minus 5 power 2 okay so if we simplify this equation the moment equation will be equal to 4.5 x minus 1.5 times x minus uh, 1.5 times x square plus 10.5 into x minus 5 plus 1.5 times x minus 5 power 2 so this is your moment equation and let this is your equation number a so what we will do is that put the value of m put value of m in equation a so what we will get is e i into d square v over d x square will be equal to 4.5 x minus 1.5 x square plus 10.5 into x minus 5 plus 1.5 into x minus 5 square integrate this equation we will get ei into dv over dx will be equal to 4.5 x square divided by 2 minus 1.5 x cube over 3 plus 
into x minus 5 power 2 divided by 2 plus 1.5 into x minus 5 whole cube divided by 3 plus constant of integration which is equal to c1. So if you further simplify it, so you will get ei into dv over dx will be equal to 2.25x square minus 0.125x cube plus 5.25 into x minus 5 power square plus 0.5 into x minus 5 power 3 plus c1 now this is your equation number 1 so integrate this equation 1 you will get ei into v which is deflection is equal to 2.25 x cube divided by 3 minus 0 0.5 x power 4 divided by 4 plus 5.25 into x minus 5 power 3 divided by 3 plus 0 0.5 into x minus 0 x minus 5 power 4 divided by 4 plus c1 x and there will be another constant of integration which is equal to c2. So if you further simplify it so you will get ei into v is equal to 0 0.75 x cube minus 0 0.125 x power 4 plus 1.75 into x minus 5 power 3 plus 0 0.125 into x minus 5 power 4 plus c1 x plus c2 and this is your equation number 2. Now c1 and c2 are unknown constant of integration so boundary conditions will be used to find C1 and C2. So what are the boundary conditions? So first boundary condition is that at x is equal to 0, we have deflection is equal to 0. So here you can see x is equal to 0, we have deflection is equal to 0 because at point A we have a, a pin support. So put it in equation number 1, put in equation 1, so when you put it in equation, sorry equation number 2 because equation number 2 is for deflection. So when you put it, this term will be 0 this will be 0, this will be 0, this will be minus 5. So anything inside the Macaulay bracket that is negative will be 0. This term will be 0. C1 into x will be 0. So we left with C2. So C2 will be equal to 0. So from here you will get C2 will be equal to 0. You can just put the value and you can do these steps. Now we will apply second boundary condition. So at x is equal to 5 meter you can see x is equal to 5 meter we have deflection is equal to 0 so here x is equal to 5 meter we have deflection is equal to 0 because there is a roller support over here so put it in equation number 2 put in equation 2 so when you put it you will get e into i multiply by 0 will be equal to 0 0.75 into 5 cube minus 0 0.125 into 5 power 4 plus 1.75 into 5 minus 5 power 3 plus 0 0.125 into x minus 5 minus 5 x is 5 power 4 plus c1 into 5 and c2 is equal to 0 so you will get 0 will be equal to 93.75 minus 78.125 this term will be 0 this term will be 0 so we will left with 5 times c1 and when you calculate this you will get c1 will be equal to minus 3.125
now you have c1 and c2 so what you will do is that put c1 in equation number one you will get ei into dv over dx will be equal to 2.25 x square minus 0 0.5 x cube plus 5.25 into x minus 5 square plus 0 0.5 into x minus 5 cube plus c1 c1 is minus 31.3.125 3.125 and if you divide ei on both sides so you will get dv over dx will be equal to 1 over ei times 2.25 x square plus minus 0 0.5 x cube plus 5.25 into x minus 5 cube square plus 0 0.5 into x minus 5 whole cube minus 3.125 and this is dv over dx is equal to slope which is the required is required equation of slow now what we will do is that put c1 and c2 in equation number two put c1 and c2 in equation two and divide ei on both sides so you will get v is equal to one over ei into 0 0.75 x cube minus 0 0.125 x power 4 plus 1.75 into x minus 5 whole cube plus 0 0.125 into x minus 5 whole power 4 plus c1 x so c1 is minus 1.3.125 x and c2 is equal to 0 and this is the required equation of deflection or required equation of elastic curve so if you want to find at any distance of x the slope and deflection so just put the value of x over here you will get the slope at that distance of x and if you want deflection so put the x in this deflection formula so you will get the deflection at that point. And that was all about this problem 12-50. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video which I post. Also comment on my videos whether you like it or not and uh, suggest me the improvement. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.